Okay, Jay says took a buy trade on Swiss franc, uh, sorry, pound Swiss franc this morning at New York Open, but the breakout showed to be false. Okay, yeah, let me check the pound Swiss franc and look into why it was a fake breakout. We may see it in the Kumo shape. We may see it on the price action, but we'll see. So here is a daily chart first. So daily broke the Kumo, which is nice signal for the continuous bullish trend. So you took a buy, and I think that was a good decision. Right, Kumo is up also. Kijun Sen angle is up. There was also Tenkan Kijun Sen gold cross. And Chikou Spun break and Kumo breakout happened today. So I think he caught the right time to buy in that sense. And let me check the 4 hour. 4 hour shows its range now, but it's not retracing, it's just ranging now. Uh, but Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So in this case, the market may retrace back to Tenkan Kijun Sen. So we can't take the 4 hour to follow. And let's see, 1 hour shows it's, uh, it's bullish. Okay, one hour looks good because uh, the market looks to be supported by the previous resistances. So I think this bullish in a wave continues. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, along with the Euro USD, pound Swiss franc in one hour also looks good to buy. Yeah. I think, so you bought this trade, you bought this pair, and uh, the breakout to be false, I think you're talking about this week, I think. But uh, yeah, you can still keep holding. In this case, I would keep holding because um, it's too bullish to me. But I keep holding until the market breaks the support of 1.1436 or comes below the Kijun Sen, then exit. Otherwise, I would keep holding if I buy, because it's bullish, because the Kumo is up, and it's not thin, it's bullish Kumo, very thick, and Kijun Sen angle is also bullish. A Chikou span is above the candles, so I would keep holding, and expect the market breaks the resistance. Yeah, looks like previously there was a support, but it was a bit far from the previous resistances. But this time it's exactly on the previous resistance. So I think this is a good sign for this continuous bullish trend. In price section, it's bullish, like this. In Ichimoku, it's bullish. So, pound Swiss franc, I think is also good. Yeah, but just to make sure, if, when you trade, please uh, take your trades with your own risk management and responsibilities. Yeah, but I think it's a good market to be in the trade. Okay, yeah, but like this, you know, I checked the uh, Ichimoku situations and also the price action. I also look into the candlesticks, whether there is a doji, pin bar, engulfing. And I do holistic analysis, multiple time frames, and look for the buying edge or selling edge. Before, I didn't have this concept of looking for the buying edge or selling edge. I was simply following signals, and when signal says buy, I was buying it. When signal says sell, I simply sold. But now I don't do it. I look into the markets in different time frames with Ichimoku and look into where exactly buy or sell or hold, not to not to trade, not to trade, and. Uh, looking for the trading edge. And it helps me a lot in terms of psychology. It helped me a lot to, uh, to stop me trading, stop me um, 
doing the, the wasting trade you know you, you don't want to trade you don't want to keep trading and you don't want to waste your positions to trade but rather you have to be exact exact in spot to trade just like the hunter you know you don't want to waste your bullets to trade you don't want to waste your bullets to hunt but you want to save your bullets and be exact spot to use these bullets to trade. Yeah. But yeah, Swiss franc, uh, sorry, pound Swiss franc is bullish. Let me also check the five minute. Um, I also checked the five minute for the buying edge like this, and this is ranging now. And I don't think this is a good timing to buy it. Um, yeah, okay. So support level has been a very flat. But resistances are a bit off here and here. And now resistance is here too. So support levels being the same level, resistances are a bit fakey. So in this case, you have to wait, you have to be careful for the fake breakout. You might see in the future the market breaks this resistance, but then it may retrace. But in this case, you don't exit. If it's bullish, you don't exit because the market may go up in this direction. Just like here. So, yeah, that's one thing I will be careful if I'm in the trade in this situation. Yeah, if I buy, then my stop loss for sure is going to be below the previous support, 1.1436 level, and expect to break the resistance. Yeah, since daily time frame shows there is a nice Sayanko Koten signal, come on, breakout. It's called a Sayanko Koten signal in Japanese, so I think that's a good bullish trend. Yeah, and also make sure to do the risk management. Never take high, too high leverage. Always uh, risk your trades. Either 1%, 2%, or even up to 3%, you risk management and take trades. Never risk like 10%. It's way too much. <laughs> 